Welcome, welcome to Kingdom Principles. Oh, welcome, welcome to Kingdom Principles. Hello, Kingdom Royals. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kingdom Principles, and I am your host, Princess me so on today's episode we're going to be talking about modesty is it overrated is it underrated is it outdated that's what we're going to talk about today and we're going to you know figure it out figure it out figure it out so god bless you as you watch and listen stay tuned So, uh, back to back from our intro. I will change that soon, do I? Okay, so we're going to talk about modesty today and we're going to talk about the concept around it. So last week we spoke about the topic, you know, presenting yourself, you know, wholly and acceptable um, in brackets, just the way you want to be addressed. And um, we spoke about the importance of, you know, modesty. But, you know, this week we're going to delve uh, delve deeper into what modesty is so we don't have our tablet today because we're going to have like you know another conversation we are just talking today we're not um we're just talking today we're not like you know going into a lot of theory i'm kind of liking these conversations um of course i love reading the bible and i love you know talking to you guys you know from the standpoint of the bible but there are certain things that you know i just want to share my opinion on them of course with the bible as my backup text um as i told you guys in my first video in january um i told you guys how um like there are some videos where i'm just going to share my opinion and we're going to have an overarching text so to um last week's video was one of them and this week's video is one of them our text is first timothy 2 verse nine again that's first timothy two verse nine i'm enjoying this posture and you can't see it don't worry but it's nice i'm just chilling today so first timothy two verse nine says in kjv in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel um we're only going to look at the part a of that bible passage i'm not understanding parts p of that bible passage and i can't come here and lie to you people but when I was looking and, and praying about the Bible passage for today's topic. That is what came to mind. Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's read it. It says, um, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Yeah, we're only going to talk about part A of that Bible passage. ESV says, Likewise, also that women should adorn themselves with respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control. This is why we are here. Not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire. So, um, the one that talks about braided hair, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about, obviously the word of God is true, right? So, I, I don't want to talk about what I don't know about we're going to look at first timothy chapter 2 verse 9a which in english standard version says likewise also that women should adorn themselves with respectable apparel with modesty and self-control the end you no know, the cinema that's all that's where that's my full stop qed that's my full stop there that's all we're going to talk about that first half of that bible passage um because um i don't i i think i need to go back to god to ask god for proper you know 
knowledge of the remaining parts of that whole passage. I will probably I'll probably come back. I will talk about that later because about the braided here i feel like i just broke the first rule so i yeah so let me not let me not say what i don't know so just let women adorn themselves with respectable apparel with modesty and self-control that's where we're ending so um is modesty underrated is it outdated is it overrated well is modesty outdated to an extent i will say it is and i'm not saying it is because it is bad like i said last week we are meant to be modest in our apparel both male and female actually the only reason i was really addressing females like last week was because we're in women's history month right and so i, I as i mentioned in my first video that all our topics this month are centered around women that's actually why i was addressing women last week as well but i've never like correct me if i'm wrong but when uh, even when prince henry his wasn't his name henry or harry i can't remember i'm so sorry i think harry when he was when he was in the world quote and unquote um i never saw the brother walk around in boxers you know just walk around the streets of london in boxers i've never seen him you know like just just exposing right left and center so like they even even you know that that standard of royalty you know we have we we have you know standards you know um they have standards sorry i am not british they have they have their standards um and so male and female we are both meant to dress modestly so what is modesty and i found a nice definition that i really liked so modesty sometimes known as, known as demureness is a mode of dress and deportment which intends to avoid and encourage the encouraging of sexual attraction in others the word modesty comes from the latin word modestus which means keeping within measure standards of modesty are are in the context um and dependent and very widely so i'm um, sorry standards of modesty um are called is are culturally in context and dependent and very widely meaning okay so the de definitions of modesty differ that's essentially what that part means definitions of modesty differ now i i liked this um definition of modesty a lot it made it made sense to me and really it's it says like it's made from the word which means keeping within measure keeping within measure that's what it means modesty is when your makeup is not too much modesty is when your dressing is not too much when we say not too much you're not exposing left right and center the reason why i said is it outdated is because of the youth of our generation a lot of us do not practice modesty a lot let us be honest I, i'm looking at the dresses that a lot of my the youth of my generation are wearing we're literally wearing um many many is it many skirts yeah many skirts those dresses whereby i would not i would have said i would put a put a picture here but i won't um whereby i i, I think i watched a video yesterday which would be a couple of weeks by the time you watch this video and um these ladies like they you can essentially see their whole body they, from this side down their whole body because it's supposed to let's say cover cover because it doesn't really cover their front end maybe it covers their you can still see a lot of their cleavage you can see their stomach but it covers the sensitive area which is your breast then there's now you can see the whole side of the person i see nowadays where a lot of women don't wear bras you're seeing everything and my question to you is dear brother sister all i want to know is kilo de te washer no edjo i just want to know what was the why did you even bother wearing clothes because see the clothes you're wearing is not even clothes the bible says in the book of genesis god created clothes for adam and eve and he did what he covered our nakedness people are saying the point of clothing is to cover your nakedness i'm seeing a lot of youth of my generation nowadays we are not using cloth to cover our nakedness. Koda, 
cloth is used to enhance our nakedness. We are using the cloth to enhance it. Google show everybody everything. Yes, we are enhancing. We are enhancing. We are using cloth. And you just take um scarf. I saw another one. You take scarf. You tie it around your waist. You, you the, the um triangle of the scarf will reach by your your belly button. You now wear sh uh, shirt on top. And I'm wondering. And guys, we thought this was a great idea. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere to wear this thing out, and it's not a problem. Guys, please. Please, I beg in the name of God. Remember last week, I told you guys, as royal priesthood, as joint heirs with Christ, the way we present ourselves to the world matters. The Bible passage we read last week said, come out from among them and be ye separate. We, can't, we cannot call ourselves children of God and our dressing is like people of the world. Could make sense. It doesn't make any sense. We can't do that to ourselves. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. So modesty, the only reason why I said it is outdated is because to us in this generation, we don't practice it at all. We don't practice it at all. Is it overrated? Most definitely not. Is it underrated? Yes, because not a lot of people practice modesty. I don't know, maybe it's an archaic thing that you feel like, okay, you won't look good if you dress modestly. And that is a lie. See, there is this, uh, um, okay, so... I follow these um, Nigerian royal queens on the internet. Um, I have a favorite. My favorite um, Nigerian um, queen is Queen Sh Shilekwala Ogunwesi, the wife of the Oni of Ife. I love her. I love, I love the way she carries herself. She's a Christian. I shall love her. Yeah, I love her. Well, um, I looked at her and i looked at a couple of other queens right nigerian queens these women take bare pictures um queen shilekola not as much but i follow a couple of these queens um if you are familiar with nigeria you know the queens from the oil empire the oil empire i follow i think two of them two or three of them these they are, and they are queens they are wives of the of the of the king of in oil land right and these women take bare pictures just to show off like i promise you they wake up in the morning they wear clothes and they just take picture on the palace throne and they move on with their lives but that's not where i'm going to i look at these women the way they carry themselves the way they the the, the way they dress never once have i seen queen naomi Gunsi expose her chest then again bear in mind she was a prophetess before she became a, a queen but let's put that aside. The other queens, right, from the oil empire, I've never seen. Look, just being honest, I've done my small research on like Nigerian monarchs because I feel like I always talk about European monarchs. I'm a Nigerian, right? So I've done my fair share of research about them, their wives, how their wives dressed in, well, in the palace and so on and so forth. These women do not expose themselves. Why? They understand who they are, their identity as queens, as women in the palace. And because of that, they dress beautifully well. Ah, these men have money. They dress in the most expensive lace in this life, but they don't expose themselves. There's another religion out there that I, I won't mes mention the religion, but these people dress modestly but beautifully. Their women are beautiful, yet for their wedding, they have, I don't know, was it nine to ten steps to their wedding? And I follow a couple of them on, 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 I, okay, I only follow one, let me not lie. I, I follow one of them on the internet. And the reason why I follow that woman is because even though we don't share the same beliefs and the same values as it relates to Christianity, I love her modesty. She is, even as an influencer, this woman um covers up she doesn't collaborate with brands that expose left right and center the woman looks elegant and gorgeous in covering up i love that about that woman we're not we're, we don't practice the same things we do not believe in the same god but i love her i love that woman because of her modesty i own a dress store luxury royal apparel and um one of the things i made up my mind from the beginning of, 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 of starting this business was that I would never sell a dress that exposed people. I started this dress at a time in my life where I wanted a lot more dresses in my wardrobe. So I was looking around at a lot of stores and I was appalled by how many 
dresses these stores were selling and everything was exposed see me i don't go out there's pride in me telling you that i don't go out i go to church on sundays um and um i go to parties here and there but i'm not like a party maniac i don't go out i don't do any of that i stay in my father's house before um before when i was like a, stu- a university student i'll go to church i'll go to school i'll come back home if mommy and daddy administration i'll follow them i follow mostly mommy if mommy has administration i'll follow them or if we have like administration where both of them are ministry we'll follow them those are the only times i go out i don't go out much you might think it's a boring life but see <laughs> especially as a business owner i'll always find work to do it gives me time to focus on my businesses focus on my life focus on my time with god so i'm not missing anything in my own opinion because i'm 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 get, gaining my time with god i'm gaining anointing and i'm gaining money so at the end of the day me i'm gucci where god put me sure you get but the point was i didn't go out much and the only place i really went out to where i dressed up to was church and i would look at all these dressing site dress sites and nothing did i see there that i could ever wear to church uh that was one of the driving forces behind certain apparel no dress on apparel Will ever will you ever see cleavage bare cleavage out like that? No dress on apparel. Will you ever see a slit to your thigh? I don't. I told you guys last week. I don't do slits. My businesses are a reflection of me. So you never see a dress on apparel that that has slits. Absolutely not. That's not me, right? So at the end of the day, like I believe that modesty is not overrated at all because not a lot of people practice it but i mentioned the case of the queens to tell you how royals carry themselves those are women that are married to 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 to, um king so they understand that their body technically because once you marry um the two have become one that's what the bible said so these women understand that their body cannot be they can't be showing it off like that because their body now belongs to the king essentially see if you want me to break this down further i will but just like to Clear it out. Their body belongs to the king because they are married to the king and the two became one. Just as how you as a child of God, your body is a temple of the Lord. Therefore, glorify God in your body, which is God's. I feel like I mentioned this last week too, right? So that body, which is God's, should not be not just one random guy up and down or random people on the internet should not have access to be able to see that body. No, 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 no. They shouldn't be. Why? Your body is a temple of God. God dwells within you. So what is what that those private parts of your body should only be seen by one person. Your spouse. That's it. They should not be seen by anybody else. And if you are a child and you live under your parents and your parents still once in a while give you a bath, then yes, of course, your parents. But, you know, I'm talking about like in people outside of like your immediate family now. It's only you, God, your husband, or your wife. Those are the people that have access to your body. Just like how those people acknowledge that their bodies, because they married kings, belong to the king, and the king's property cannot just be flaunted up and down. You, who, you are the, you are the temple of a living God, right? Your body should not be flaunted up and down. So, as I mentioned before, modesty is most definitely outdated among the youth of our generation but it shouldn't be beauty there is beauty in modesty there is beauty in modesty so carry yourself like the royal that you are you don't have to show up up and down show off everything to show that you're positive about your body no 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 you're beautiful the way god made you you don't have to show off of everything because remember as a born again child of God, you are a light in this dark world. God has called us to be different, not to act like them or just like them. Because you can't be like them and then try to win them. To an extent, you can come down to their level, yes. But you cannot be smoking and be telling them that, you know, the Bible says don't smoke. Or, you know, the Bible says, because then they'll be looking at you like, what's wrong with this one? This one is mad. What do you mean? Like, you're doing what I'm doing. You're a hypocrite. So you cannot, it, it, it won't, it won't make any, it won't make any sense. It won't make any um, progress. It won't make any headway. So come out from among them. Be modest. Do everything within measure. Your makeup, your, your, your jewelry, all of those things. Do it within measure measure the way you present yourself is important to god you don't have to and like and this is a word that i feel like i should tell the teenagers because 
I, I, I've, I've been there. I don't think I ever got to the state stage where I was on the internet and I was exposing myself. No, I, I, God wouldn't let me, even though at that time I was a bit far away from God. I knew God enough to know not to do that. Um, but I needed to know young lady, you have insecurity issues. First and foremost, you probably should go and watch that video um, from, I believe, January, where I was telling you guys to know your identity in Christ and you should know who you are in Christ. So go watch that video so that you can learn about who you are in Christ and seeing yourself how Christ sees you. And that low self-esteem and whatnot will disappear. By God's grace, it will disappear. But that aside, I'm... um. To that little girl who you feel like, okay, you want to be accepted. And the people that are exposing left, right, and center are the ones that are getting the followers and the ones that are getting the likes. Baby girl, you are different. You are unique. You are separate from the crowd. You cannot join uh, join the crowd and want to lead them. The leader is normally somebody that is different from the people that they are leading. And that's why the that's why the people following you want to follow you because they see that the part you took is different. When you're outstanding, you stand out from the crowd. Right? So that I want you to know that you are unique. God made you special. Please don't fall under the pressure of exposing left, right, and center. You don't need it. You can be positive about your body without showing off your body to everybody. Remember, your body is the temple of the Lord. And just like those royals that I mentioned earlier, you can look gorgeous and look beautiful without exposing anything. You can look beautiful without exposing anything. I remember look, but going back to that influ- influencer I spoke about earlier, like her wedding pictures. I went to look at her wedding pictures. This one looked gorgeous. Amazing. And she, everything was covered up. She looked amazing you don't have to expose yourself to look beautiful that is not a definition of beauty you don't have to god made you beautiful you are beautiful the way you are there is beauty in your modesty tell yourself i am beautiful there is beauty in my modesty tell yourself again there is beauty in my modesty all right that's all i have to say to you today um if you're here you're watching and you've you you know you had low self-esteem you felt like you weren't important enough to anybody including yourself including god and you you know you fell for that temptation to to expose left right and center um let's pray together lord jesus i bring your children into your hands lord jesus they know that you know they 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 did what was wrong and they acknowledge and they accept and they admit it father lord please help them father please guide them help them to make a 180 degree turn and not a 360 in the mighty name of jesus father lord help them help these your children lord to be able to clear out their wardrobe and get things that outfits and dresses and apparels that you will be proud of in the mighty name of jesus Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And if you want to give your life to Christ, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me all my sins and trespasses and cleanse me from within. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations. You are now a fellow kingdom royal a fellow kingdom royal welcome to this wonderful beautiful family of god um if you um right now the next episode finally but i will believe in church to attend i do know that at least um where i am we have we're on lockdown right so going to church might not be easy right now but find a bible bible believing church to attend and if you have any you know questions or whatever you can you're free to let me know free to contact me and i will I will connect you with my parents and we'll help you find a good Bible believing church for you to attend. All right. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And don't forget, don't forget, don't lose your salvation. Guard it jealously because that is your key into God's kingdom. That is your ticket to God's heaven. Alright. God bless you. Bye. Next time 
on kingdom principles. For if you forgive men their trespasses, then your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, then your heavenly Father will not forgive you. In a world where cancel culture is the order of the day, and the only time we talk about forgiveness is when we're talking about taking back a cheating ex, those words have never meant more. 